weeks ago, I was in the grip of stream of consciousness. You never know when it's time to wake up. You don't realize what you miss. Until it goes away. Why am I here? These stupid bars of soap she's obsessed with. Who designs these colors? Why am I always worrying about the details that go into a product? I wish I could be a kid and think like that again. I bet they hate their jobs as well. Feel so suppressed in the universe. Why is it so big anyway? I wonder, did people in the Stone Age think that? All I'm saying is that if you keep indulging in depressing works of literature, it's not going to help you get over cancer. I don't even know if it's even gone. For all I know, my intestines could fall out my ass at any minute. Herman, your negativity is saturating. No, just be calm. No, just be calm. Tell me, do I use these vouchers here for the organic veg? Why do cashiers smell like sweat mixed with washing powder? Reminds me of my students with their crusty sheets and ketamine orgies. If ever there was a plus side to being sick. I just think practicing mindfulness would help. Oh, not this again. What's wrong with mindfulness? Nothing. I'm just trying to help. I know. Don't. Oh, shit. Do actually have sympathy for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't mind nearly taking the face off me with the boot? Can she wear that? I'm so skint. Could really do with more money. But I guess I'll live. Herman! Jesus. Herman, you really need to leave the book club if it's not going to change your outlook. If you don't stop daydreaming, it's not going to be cancer that gets you. It's going to be traffic. Automatic thoughts that run through our brain can oftentimes encompass negativity. It is only when we master this cycle that we can welcome mindfulness and the reality that not everything has a negative resolution. More to the point, we begin to reasonably see that patterns that lead from negative places cannot become positive if we cannot see the outcome in a rational way. I can't hear you. Oh. Look at him. In the middle of chopping veg. Can you give me a hand? Only if you feel up to it. Hmm. Any word from the hospital? Really don't want to think about it. Wow. Oh. Last time you were there, they said you're. Suffering that you were going through just. Felicia, I, I haven't even gotten the results yet. Wait, I, I don't even know if it's even gone. I remember you making one of those for Stacy. She was like this. Survive without you. Oh, God. Find <laughs> your daughter's pregnant while your husband's having chemo. <laughs> Never would have driven anyone else over the edge. I'm so sorry. Honestly, I almost did. <laughs> Here. Try this. Jesus.
Denise has changed the subject. Hmm. Denise. Guess who I was talking to today? Stacy. Hmm? That's what she was telling me. That the growers today, they use the same methods that the Neolithic people used. There was me thinking archaeology was a stupid idea. Stupid is as stupid does, I suppose. That's from that film. Oh, yeah. I can just imagine those cavemen now. Planting a carrot as they draw shapes of aliens or cosmos or something like that. What's my obsession with the cosmos today? Maybe that book is right. Oh, God, get out of here. I feel no mindfulness will ever let me take spontaneity for granted again. The irony is, um, it was Felicia who suggested therapy. I hope you don't mind me saying this. I feel your wife could sense the neurosis. We're not supposed to be burdened by so many distractions. We're not supposed to be worried about events happening thousands of miles away.
we can only manage and take responsibility for our immediate environment. I think it's something we understood in more primitive times. We have to try and let go of what we can't control and what we are not responsible for. And try and live in the present. This is essentially mindfulness. It's going to take time to heal. And we're going to have many more sessions, as many as we need. Part of recovery is finding something positive to focus on. Do you think we can do that? Yeah. Yeah. Good. you 